two, one. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up. I can flip a dial to a million. I don't like to brag, but I'm really on three, two, one. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla Corian if you're new and I heard that you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, Georgia. Your girl has been here for four years. I moved here in 2020 so I have all the tea for you. Now one of my influencer friends came into town. He has been coming into town and he finally said Jayla let's go view apartments here in Atlanta. So I am his leasing consultant for the day. I'm taking him to a few different units. I'm going to let you guys see the units and we're going to be talking about moving to Atlanta. So a little backstory. Now I never thought that I would move to Atlanta, but Atlanta is going to be in my top five places to live in the United States, in America. It is in my top five. Never thought I would place it, but Atlanta has a lot of things going on and I have grown to love living here. Your girl moved here from New York, so New York is a big city, but I want to stay on the east coast of the world. So my next best option was Atlanta, Georgia. Now, coming here, it was, it's a little bit slower, but faster in the nightlife scene. So the nightlife scene here in Atlanta is something that you definitely can get caught up in. And the food here, not like no other place. Like I already know what lunch spot like I want to go to for lunch today. Get some fried chicken, some fried fish, some um, hot sauce girl. Like you can get whatever. Collard greens, macaroni and cheese, um, lamb chops from any place. Girl, hookah gonna be there and the music is gonna be there. Like I think that is one of the things that I love about Atlanta on top of the culture here, the African-American culture is 100% present. When you call an Uber here, your Uber driver is gonna be black. When you go to the store, the person check you out is gonna be black. It's just a heavily black culture here. Almost, sometimes when people come here, it's almost like a culture shock of like, wow. It's so many black people <laughs> um, versus other places. You kind of get more of a melting pot kind of feel. But here in Atlanta, our presence is here. You see us driving the nice cars. You see us working at the nice jobs. You see us out and about living life. And it's just something to celebrate. Atlanta has spoiled me to the point that I don't even understand going to a restaurant or going to a lounge and not hearing the hot music that's popping you know uh, hearing some cardi b hearing some megan hearing some beyonce hearing some nikki like these are all normal things when you step out to have dinner for the night so the benefits of moving to atlanta would be the cost of living a lot of places the cost of living is high you guys the economy now Woo, baby, it waited until we grew up for the economy to like increase. Like, where is the cheap rent at? I must know. Where is the cheap rent at? Now, Atlanta does have some affordable housing options for you. I also like that the modern apartment units, um, while they are, you know, they're cute penny, they're not breaking the bank, okay? You just need a good job. You just need a good foundation and you can live in one of these units. So the units that I'm going to be showing today are in the $2,000 range. I 100% believe that if you are not a homeowner, I just don't see spending four, five, six K on rent. You need to actually be saving that money so you can go into home ownership. So I like to stay under 3k when it comes to renting because renting is supposed to be a short-term option while you build yourself up build your bank accounts up get to get to explore places and figure out where you actually want to to plant your roots at a lot of my girls on this channel know that you know i definitely had a season where i was paying a lot of money thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in rent when i was living in new york now new york the cost of living there is just <laughs> Hi. You can't say I didn't live life. However, when I am working with people who are looking to relocate here to the Atlanta area, I want to make sure that we're making financial responsible, financially responsible decisions. You know, I had lived my best life and now I'm able to make decisions a bit more wiser. So I want to make sure that, you know, whoever I'm touring, they get the lighting, they get the windows, but we're not trying to 
overspend you know so i think that elena has a lot of options for that and when it comes to living in elena for me personally i like to be in the city i like to be in the hustle and bustle of things and you have two prime locations the first location is going to be buckhead i love buckhead we have some major restaurants here lennox mall is here a lot of the social life is in buckhead i would explain buckhead as like a downtown although that's not necessarily our downtown it is where the commotion is going the next location would be midtown midtown resembles more of a downtown feel with the high-rise buildings we do have high-rise buildings in buckhead but you're going to get more of that city feel in the midtown area however i will say i do not go to midtown as often as i do buckhead midtown does have some restaurant options they have a few clubs out there, but I I would have to say that Buckhead to me would be the mega like downtown living in the city feel, although it is still more residential and not city like. I hope you guys are following me with this one. Now I want you guys to know that we have a lot of outskirt areas that you can move to if you're willing to drive 20 minutes 30 minutes into the city we do have outside options where you're going to get a nice unit modern unit just a little bit further out for a lowered price but i'm going to be talking about because who i'm showing the units to today um we're looking at the prime locations i see a one bedroom for as low as 17.27 so you are able to get one bedroom units a little bit below that um, $2,000 monthly um, rent price. However, you are potentially going to be on a lower unit. Now, that's what I like about high rise buildings. You know, the higher you go up, the more it is, but you can be in the building. You can be in the building and still find a good unit that feels like you're higher up. Like some of the units are on the seventh floor. I would say seven is a good um, number. You don't have to be on the 17th floor. You know, I recently was in New York and I went to my friend's building. They lived on the 60th floor and it's just a different feel. You'd be like, "Woo, I'm kind of high up. So it is going to depend on, you know, what level you're comfortable with um it's been times that i'm like you know put me in a penthouse but um you do not have to be in the penthouse penthouse is the top floor level you do not have to be in that level to still get a penthouse feel because some of these um seven floor units i can say we feel very high wouldn't know what floor we're on all right guys so come with me and Jalen. Jalen is from Canada. He has a primary residence in Canada and he is an influencer. He makes a lot of um, fashion content and also marketing content so he's looking to come to the states to do more of what he loves in the career field. And I'm here with Jalen. Hey. He is from Canada hey, and he is thinking about moving to Atlanta so yes. I'm his tour guide for the day. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about all things moving to Atlanta. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited to embark on a new journey. Yeah. I think it's time. Yeah. It's time. I need something new. I need something fresh. I just need something different, you know? So I'm just ready. Yeah. So, we you excited? I am. I am. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. So, it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be a vibe. I'm really, really excited to just go and tour, see what's happening. Yeah. So, guys, we're gonna, I think we did like... You put like seven, seven places, so. <laughs> okay, how does this work? No, we already put it on, oh, on the outside. See, that's the difference between Canada and US. Like, it's a little bit different. So I'm like, how do we, like, how do we? How do we use it? <laughs> how do we get it? He's like, hey, where am I? Put the fob, I'm like, press the button on the, oh, on the okay. Because we, we don't really have that. Because they don't have any buttons in here. So you have to do it on oh, the Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I just feel so like, you have to have a key fob in this building to get to any floor because if you don't you if you don't you're stuck. stuck wow i've actually got stuck in this building before because i was like on some floor needed to get out how 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 do you get out of the building you don't have key fob yeah it's nice that's nice that's so, crazy 
I like the safety of this. No, no, I like that Nobody too. Nobody can go up. Yeah, I like that. That's why I, that's why I want a, a place where, because my condo's like that too back home. Mm -hmm. So like I want something with safety. It's, it's just not like that crazy safety. <laughs> but it's real safe. Like, they don't play. <laughs> Lord, 22. Lord, 22. Yes, this is the penthouse floor. All right, hold on. Okay. You see, you know how to do it. No, just touch it. Just touch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now. There's only one penthouse floor? The penthouse is the top floor. Oh. <laughs> Jalen talking about some... <laughs> Um, and can it be multiple penthouse floors? No, the penthouse is the penthouse because it's the top floor. Okay, let's try this thing again. All right. Well, since we're up, well, since we're since we're up here, let's look at amenities. And it might be over here. She said they had a private gym. Oh, they do, which I really like about the penthouse floor because they do have a private gym, which I really mm -hmm. like. So it's not a swipe, oh. it's just a light. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, okay. they got, baby. Hey, they got a gym, okay? okay. Gym. This is for me because you don't can bother see me. Be up here? Yeah, because don't bother me. Working out? Don't bother me. Because what? The fact that they have a private gym for people who live in the penthouse floor is crazy. Like, I really yeah. like that. That's really bomb, so. Yeah. Um, and it has a TV in here too, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool, I like that as well. Super bomb, super lit. So let's um, go to the private well, lounge. Let's, again. Mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, hi Jalen, look at you. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, so this is the penthouse amenity space. They yeah. also do have outside seating. I uh, like this for people who work from home. Yeah, no, I like this um, too. Like I would literally like come here like all night and just work. And have meetings like yeah. away from home. Because sometimes, home. you know, you get kind of tired of being in the house. Yeah, so I like that. It's I awesome. like these spaces. It's, it's actually really dope. Yeah. I really like it. It's cool. Okay, in here they have little hidden workspaces. Oh. Nice. This this would sell me. I would literally come to work here all the time. Like working in the building this is... This is like a little Starbucks, little Starbucks setup. Mm -hmm. Okay, Starbucks setup. <laughs> no, this is nice. Nice. Yeah, this, this eats. I'm not going to hold you. This uh -huh. is fire. Yeah, I like this. Ooh. Okay. Tell him to stop playing with me. Okay. I'm like the resident. Okay. Jalen learning. He I'm came learning. to Atlanta and he like, okay, I, I get it. No, I get it now. It's late. <laughs> I get it. That was nice though. That was really, really nice. That was... We haven't even seen no apartment. None. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm already sold by just that. <laughs> just that good. Still got more. I'm happy that he is enjoying the building and the amenities. We're going down to the 21st floor. This is the penthouse but they do have more amenities on the 21st floor. He hasn't seen the pool yet. He hasn't seen the main gym yet. Nothing. And he has not seen any units at all. Okay, gotta love the amenities. Ooh. Ooh. First of all, Is that a pantry? Yeah, so laundry. Here has this one here has a laundry in here. Oh, okay. Oh, laundry. dang, they got a big little laundry. Yeah, it's a laundry. And then they also have like a thing in here too. Oh, wow. Sink. Yeah, they have like a sink, which mm -hmm. is amazing. The kitchen here is the really nice. The kitchen is nice. The kitchen is beautiful and it's like its own section. Mm -hmm. That's what I really like about it. It's like its own section, which I really like. Yeah. Um, this is a huge ass space. Like, this is, yeah, this is really fire, I kind of don't hold you. And then it comes with one bedroom here, which is great. This is also nice. The one thing I like about Atlanta is the walk-in 
closet. So as you guys know, like you guys have the walk-in closets are always so far, they're always in located in the bathroom, which I really like. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and it, oh, it's a Stand dope up shower. It's a, oh, it's a double sink. Yeah, it's a double, double sink going on. Okay. It's a double sink, which is great. Which is really nice. The double sink is great. And the huge walk in. Oh, wow, this walk in is amazing. And the walk in is here. Yeah. Wow. I like this. No, I really do like this. This is fire. Oh, I think that was it. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. However, it's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, and the views. Look. The, the kitchen and the island. Also, too, what I do like is that it's separate. So, like, I, I like the whole separate thing going on here. I realize like, the living room is here, kitchen's here, and when you go to this side, which is I the bedroom, it's, it's the bedroom probably. All the fun stuff. Yeah, so let's check that out. But I don't know. I feel like it's, and it's not because it's not a penthouse, it's just I think the layout. The layout. It's so the layout for me. Okay. It's the layout because it's not like it's not nice. I just think I don't like the layout. Yeah. And I feel like this view is... The view is obstruct. The view is definitely obstruct, and I feel like there's yeah. not enough light. I, I would say for this unit, if they dropped it down to 16, 1500, yeah. sold, like sold. fine, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. for 2K, it's like... Yeah. Mm, this one, is this one 2K? This one, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's 2K, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's the layout that bothers It's the layout. Yes. And it's not, it's the windows not dropping down. Yeah, no, girl. Mm -mm. I think it's the layout yeah, for Like me. a little mud. Sitting area for know, shoes I don't and stuff. Like this layout. No, this layout is it's not it's not the fave. Yeah, it's not the fave. It's the windows for me. Look at you have you got it. Why you got it? <laughs> Jayla. <laughs> it's the hot, you know. I don't know. I, cool. I feel like I, you know what it reminds me of. Maybe I, it reminds me. Of, I feel like I'm in a basement. This we at the bottom. You feel like you at the bottom. Yeah, like I feel like I'm at the go, bottom. Go look at the window. Bro, look, look, hold on. Hold you on. is. You at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. I feel like I am like in a basement. Yeah. That's what it feels like. You feel like you. We I, feel like, I feel like it's a basement apartment. You know? Uh, not a basement apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like okay. it's giving. Yeah, it, it, it's honestly giving a basement apartment. That's what it's giving. I think. All right, you guys. My client does not like this unit. Yeah, We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next yeah, one. Yeah, we are. However, I will say I do like this area though. Okay. Like I don't know what it's given. Like, this is like the foyer area. Got you. Where you would sit down, put your shoes, put your coat, put your bag, put the got bag you. down. Okay, okay. You drop it. Right, you you got it. in. Okay, you put it on here. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I like this area. I really do like. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. This is like. This is cool. Yeah. Another. You unit. see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what you needed. This is what I'm talking about. Like you know what I mean? Like the other place just felt like you know closed in. Closed in. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. He needed some windows to open up the this, spot. He this, likes this one. This is this is what I like. I like this. Okay. Okay. I like this. You can deal with this. I can deal with this. Okay. This I like. This is something I like. Like this is where you know it feels. You can feel. You know. I like this. This is bomb. Okay. I really like this. Um, you know me, I like the kitchen. Remember, I'm a big fan of like, the kitchen needs to be kitcheny. All right, so the kitchen is perfect for me. Um, I love the uh, cabinets, I love that. I love how deep this is. Mm -hmm. um, I love that we have the washer and dryer, obviously we have that. We have everything, which is dope. But I like, the, this feels homey. Okay, oh, close sorry. that one. <laughs> so close that one. See, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But this feels so much more homey than the other unit. The other unit. Yeah, the other yeah. unit. Like, you know. It's more opened up. Because even in this bedroom, yeah. it still has a smaller window, but you yeah. don't feel closed in. You don't feel closed in, right? Like, like this view? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. This is a perfect view for me. Okay, he still likes this view. Like, this, this view is perfect for me. Yeah. Like, I love that. 
And I love that every unit that we've been in has like the Jack and Jill where like I can I don't have to go through one door mm -hmm. to get to the bathroom, which is what I really like. This also. closet right here, I think this might be the biggest oh, we've I, seen. I know. Hold on. Wait. Not if he's bigger than the penthouse. Yo. Yeah. This is. Let me take out something, okay? So guys, as you know, I'm from Canada. And you know, people they be from the US. Canada does not have walk-in closets in the units. Really? Like they don't have this in like apartment. They don't have so this. So it's just the one door that goes that's it. Jump, that, that, that's and it. just one slither. It's just one door. So it. it would be just this. It would be just choo, choo. it would be just this. That's it. But that's it. Like, you know, I'd be having to put clothes in storage because really? my closet don't got no room. Don't got no room. So wow. like, you know, and that's what they need to work on. Now this one does not have the Jack and Jill oh, wait. mirror, but oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It don't have the Jack and Jill mirror, but it has yeah. a big mirror. It has a big mirror, yeah. It's pretty huge mirror. Well. And I love the fact that every unit I've been in has a double sink. Double sink. I like that. Yeah. So it's like, get on that side. I'm going to be over here. Leave me alone. Oh, you manifest in the boo. Uh, yeah, manifest in the boo. Okay, okay. a boo bay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay on that side. Leave me alone. Um, but I like the fact that when somebody wants to use the washroom, they can come through here. Mm -hmm. I like that privacy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a, I like this unit. I'm not gonna hold you. I like this unit. Okay. I like it. I like okay. it. And I'm a, and I'm a shower person, so I don't I don't need a tub. A tub don't. It don't make a break. Nothing. It don't make a break. Nothing. Okay. Like, that's I'm good. a shower head. Like if I need to sit in there, I'll sit in there. Yeah. And chill if out. You need if you need a bathtub, you get a hotel room. Right. That's it. Facts. And but this is this is great. I right. Like yeah. This. I would say this is like starter kit. Florida in the window. Yeah. This is like starter kit. Atlanta. Starter kit. Right. Atlanta. Right. Florida ceiling window unit. Right. I like it. it one cool. bedroom. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it gives you the vibes what yeah. you need it, what it, it needs does. to be. It does give you the vibe. I like mm -hmm. it. I like it a lot. I think this is cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so we're heading to the other side where mm -hmm. the other amenities are. I just want to make sure that you see what this building has to offer. I know you're already sold on it. Listen, let me um, tell you. They and then you have a pool in here. Like, come on now. Okay, so coming up, this is the fitness gym. Okay, so we have the, the big gym. gym. Let's see where you would throw your little parties. Not little, my bad. Your big parties. Big parties. Okay. <laughs> Amazing pool area. I love it. Even when we're in winter time, it still feels yeah. good it to come out good. here. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's so nice today. It is so nice. Today. And it's February. Like, what the hell? In Canada, it's cold. Yeah, it is so nice today here it's, in Atlanta. It's beautiful, man. It's nice. Yeah. So. I would go swimming today. Right. So, this is our first stop. We're headed to the next one. Wow. Let's see what he thinks about this other spot. Oh, Jalen, let's walk up one more. One more thing I have to show you. Okay. It, this building is so big, it's just so much to no, show him. So, you know, it's actually really nice, like this building. Like, you could never feel like, oh my God, I'm so tired of home. No, just go to another part of it. No facts. This is the main Oh, there's main another place lobby. too? What the heck? Holy. So, over here. What the heck, they have It's a very cute building. This is a fiber? Like, pretty much. Just places for people to work. You know, a lot of people are working from home. Oh, this makes sense, though. So cute. Wow. Like, mm -hmm. You go outdoors. Like, literally, this is the building. Like, right. this building already has me sold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jalen's looking like, I gotta go back to Canada? <laughs> nice, this is nice. No, this is, I think what I really like about this building is that they have so many different places where you can like work. Yeah. And I like that because for somebody who's a homebody, I'm gonna mm -hmm. always be in these areas. Yeah. You know? So I really do like that. I like the fact that like, look, I would be in here every day, mm -hmm. just sitting in there. Tapping on a computer, Tapping making the computer, sales. Making sales. We are headed to the next location. See you when we get there. Yeah, see, this is my, mm -hmm. my price. Yeah. yeah. You like that. Mm -hmm. 
Still big windows yeah. over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The units that we'll see today have a lot of big windows. Um, yeah. And then the two bedroom, another two bedroom has four to six windows off. Okay. That's why I said I said don't now don't judge yeah. the first floor now. I told you, I, you was judging I, it, and I, I was like, hold up you. now. I kind of like the first floor now. Nah, no, yeah. All right now. Wow, yeah, they this, did this no, decor this, here. This decor is amazing. No, they made this. They made this look amazing. The wallpaper. Look, look at the, this. Look. Oh my goodness! A little mirror. Hold on, we need some inspo. Yes. Like, still lots of space. Lots of space. Mm -hmm. We like that. This is the second bathroom. Second bathroom. Y'all, I think that's at Amazon that's, that's, to make you can, a long runner because it just opens up this space and makes it seem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right. My question to you is: light or dark cabinets? Um, it's crazy because I I like both. Mm -hmm. I do like both. Um, but I feel like the light cabinets brings the more modern mm -hmm. vibe, which yeah. I really, really like. It looks yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. makes the space look, you know, more yeah. modern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the first stop on our list is an apartment building that has great amenities. Floor to ceiling windows, but the big thing that I like about this unit is the like amenity spaces. It's just so many places for him to work outside of his home. Um, now the price of these units did go up higher, the higher you went. So we did look at some of the lower numbers and he had some interesting things to say about one of them. He said it felt like we were in the basement. So he was like peeking over um, the windows. So it did kind of feel like we were a bit lower. But then we found another unit that was on the seventh floor. You wouldn't think that we were on the seventh floor. And he liked that a lot better. Cons about this building would be that it wasn't a lot of lighting coming in. So content creators and influencers i know they want the best lighting they want the best lighting they want that sun to be coming in directly at them so i know exactly what they're looking for and this particular unit um and building itself was just kind of positioned um kind of in the shade of the sun not directly in so we're going to head over to another apartment building that you're going to see the difference of like what it looks like when sun is shining directly into your windows and it's there to wake you up there to get you going on your day nice love And then this is our pet spa. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So nice. The pet spa. Ah. I know. I got a dog here. You have a dog with you? Yeah. You know, we don't got no pet spa. I know. They don't have a pet spa there. This one? Oh, I have natural light too. Um, mm -hmm. Even with the walnut finish, it's still bright because of the window. Yeah. <laughs> Jayla! Oh no! This is, yeah, this is, it's the lighting for me. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel very, oh, it's time to get to the day. It's like, look at this lighting in here. Mm -hmm. I love the oh, big windows. Yes. Get the walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. Super big. Ooh. Not, Ooh. Uh. not the, not the uh. burger bag. You can get it for the burger bag on top. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest thing that I wanted was to stay in his price budget. His price budget was around 22 to 26. He was interested in seeing a little bit above 26, but we really didn't want to go higher than that. Like anything over 28K, 
28k child you need a home anything over 2800 i really wanted to stay away from showing him because i want to show him the options that you could get on the lower end of 2000 especially since this would be his second location that he will be living in and he still would have a primary location in canada now i know everybody is looking for something different in the units that they are looking for maybe for you you want a stand-up shower maybe you want a garden tub you know maybe florida ceiling windows you don't have to have that but you just want to make sure that it's lighting coming in do you want light countertops dark countertops um is amenities really big to you can you be in a building that doesn't have concierge like all of these things are going to be a contributing factor now i will say here in atlanta we all have walk-in closets and we all have a washer and dryer in our units so you know no worry about that you know other places like new york that's when you're coming into baby you may not be able to have no washer and dryer <laughs> but coming down to the south no problems at all um jaylen did let me know that in canada they do not have like walk-in closets it's just that regular like one like row of a closet so he was very happy about all the closet space here now we did find a um, penthouse unit that we just had to go up and see and this walk-in closet spoke my name. Now this is the type of walk-in closet that I'm going to have in my home. You guys look at this closet. <laughs> it is amazing. I just kind of had to sit there like yup all my clothes could be in here so that is the goals i know when it comes to me finally building my home that the closet is going to be something like that with the island in the middle i have to have it i have to have it now if we could put like maybe one or two windows also in there for that lighting or we're just going to have to get some amazing lighting in that closet um that's just what i'm thinking about like can we get a little bit of light in here um but I, I i absolutely loved this now in this penthouse unit they had the sh the bathtub in the shower tell me what you think about that what do y'all think about that little combo right there that was very interesting to me and i have never seen anything like that before but they did have something like that the penthouse that we went to go see was nine thousand dollars a month so we were in there manifesting our lives okay like i said i personally don't believe in paying anything over 3k for renting but you know if you want to throw your coins at nothing then that's fine but um i would 100 percent advise my clients to go into actually owning at that point but you know it's addicting high-rise living is addicting um so i completely understand <laughs> All right, guys, so we are headed to my last building that I am taking Jalen to see. And this building has floor to ceiling windows, less amenities, but still in the same area. So I want to give him another option. Now, Jalen didn't mind whether it was dark cabinets or light cabinets. I feel like when it comes to females, a lot of females like that light, airy kitchen, while some of the guys really don't mind having more of a dark cabinetry going on. All right, guys, so we are done with my apartment tours for today. I want you guys to let me know which unit was your favorite. Jalen was very happy with some of them. I know he's going back to Canada just thinking about which one that he wants. I think there were some amazing options. Let me know if Atlanta is a place that you would move to. Could you handle balance in the nightlife and your actual work life living here? And I would love to know your thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next one. I cannot wait to see what my client actually picks. And I hope that he moves to Atlanta. All right. Bye, guys.